USATF championships have been extremely crazy over the past two days. Just the first two days of competition and the men's and women's 100 meters have been tearing it up on the track. We saw Fred Curley, we saw Melissa Jefferson, Aaliyah Hobbs, Trayvon Bramell, um, Marvin Bracey, right? Uh, we saw some amazing men and women who have been tearing it up, but we gotta talk about a couple other athletes who haven't got as much recognition, but still had some crazy performances that need to be highlighted. So first off, let's talk about that women's 100 meters. Now in the women's 100 meters had a strong tailwind of plus 2.9 meters per second. So it was windy, but Tamari Davis came through for fourth place in the 100 running 10.78 seconds. Now, like I noted, it was a windy wind aided performance, but this was a huge performance for her and through considering her progression through the rounds. In the prelims, she ran 11.04 seconds in the semifinals, she ran a legal 10.92 seconds. Remember, her personal best was 10.91 seconds set just a couple weeks ago back um, down at Nashville. So for her to run 10.92 seconds and then a windy 10.78, Finishing fourth place in this women's 100 meters, Tamari Davis is really showing up. And we know that there's a lot of times that high school athletes get criticized for going straight pro. Tamari Davis getting fourth place. She's going to be on the relay pool. Coming into this year, her personal best was 11.13 seconds. So, and she's only 19 years old. Please look out for Davis. She's going to be making a lot of noise, not only the rest of this year on the relay pool, but then into the future as well. Keep a lookout for her. But, but I also have to note Tamara Clark, who finished in fifth place just behind Davis and, of course, behind the top three there. Her original personal best was 10.96 seconds, run all the way back in April of 2021 when she was still running for Alabama. Here at USA's, she ran a personal best of 10.94 seconds in the preliminary heats. She then ran 10.88 seconds, another personal best, in the semifinals, then she came through in the finals, again, a windy two point, uh, plus 2.9 per second, meters per second wind. She ran 10.82 seconds in the finals for fifth place. We're looking at some greatness from Tamara Clark and some amazing progression. This bodes very, very well for her 200 meters, which I think is her better event. She's really gonna put something down and really keep an eye out for Tamara Clark. Also have to note, uh, Solera Barnes, she competes for USC. She didn't even make it out of the heats at the NCAA championships, right? She made it to NCAA, she didn't uh, progress to the final, but she managed to run 10.86 seconds for sixth place here in the women's 100 meters. Her PB um, entering this meet was not too fast. It was low 11s, she ran a personal best of 11 flat in the heats and then another personal best of 10.96 seconds in the semifinals. So the women are tearing it up in this 100 meters. We'll possibly see her in the relay pool. Again, she got sixth place, but the women's 100 and 200 is pretty stacked. But again, shout out to all these ladies. They have been dominating in the women's 100 meters. We're gonna see a lot more from them. Now, jumping over to the men's side in that men's 100 meters, Elijah Hall. He, for me, was the story of, well, Fred Curley, he was the story of this meet, right? Running uh, 9.7 on two occasions in one day, amazing performance. Then, like I said, Marvin Bracey got second, Trayvon Bermuda got third. They're gonna be your team to the world championships. But we have to know Elijah Hall. Now, he finished fifth place in the final, running 9.90 seconds. This is an amazing performance for Elijah Hall. Why? It's a personal best. This improved upon his personal best of 9.98 seconds, which he ran in the semifinals. And entering the meet, his personal best was 10.02 seconds, which he ran earlier this year. So this is a huge performance for Elijah Hall. He's going to be in the relay pool because of how he finished in fifth place, just behind uh, Michael Williams, uh, who finished in fourth place. But I think this bodes well. Elijah Hall, he's been kind of struggling with some injuries and some setbacks for him to really be better back here now showing up making the world championship team in the relay he he's gonna have a huge bright future so keep a lookout for elijah hall i also have to note Kyrie king now he finished sixth place but he ran a personal best of 9.96 seconds he has been improving his personal best significantly in the 2022 season i think this bodes well for his 200 meters remember he also set a personal best in the 200 meters just a couple weeks back I think he's going to be a threat there to very likely go sub 20 seconds in the 200 meters. And then, you know, who knows what happens from there. But Kyrie King, definitely one to look out for. Um, Elijah Hall, a huge performance for him uh, in the 100 meters. I think both these guys are going to be in the 4x1 relay pool. So look out for them there. 
For now, finishing things off, we're just gonna speak about the women's long jump and I have to talk about Tiffany Flynn. In the women's long jump, she finished third place. So she just finished third place, right? Didn't win, Quenisha Burks won. Um, second place was of course Jasmine Moore. But Tiffany Flynn, she managed to finish third place with a best of 6.69 meters to get that third place spot. It wasn't a world standard for her. She actually doesn't even have the world standard, but she qualifies to the world championships by way of her world ranking. So this is a great performance for her. It was a season's best for her, so a great performance there. And it was also the first time that she qualified for an outdoor uh, US championship team. She missed the Olympic team last year when she finished fourth place in the long jump. So this is a really great performance for her. Also can't forget to note that indoors, she actually uh, qualified and competed for the United States at the World Indoor Championships, and she finished fourth place there. So just missing out on a medal. I think this bodes well for Flynn, right? Again, she finished behind Burke, she finished behind Moore, but third place going to the World Championships, we're gonna see a lot more from her. So definitely keep a lookout. So those are just a couple athletes who probably flew under the radar, but had some amazing performances at these USA Championships. Go in the comments below. Let me know what you think of not only these athletes, but even of course, some of those top athletes, Fred Curley, Aaliyah Hobbs and Melissa Jefferson, how Sydney McLaughlin's been doing, Michael Norman. Let me know what you all think of the USA Championships so far. Make sure you like the video, make sure you subscribe to the channel. We'll be back again next time. Thanks.